Ugh. I just had the most terrible dream last night. I had a dream that everybody hated me universally and I would walk up to the person and just be like, we good? We should end it right now? And I meant like ending us ever talking again and everybody was like, yeah, we're good. And I lost everybody that I ever cared about. Hello everyone and welcome to the Iron Snail. The goal is simply to make a clothing brand that takes over the entire world. Starting with a denim jacket and moving on to now a wool jacket called the Mammoth Jacket. I, Michael, will be documenting every step of the way from when I'm a tiny baby mollusk all the way to when I'm a hype beast fashion trend. What's up peeps? Happy Saturday. This is a preview of the next video. I hope you're having a good weekend. Today I'm giving you an update on the Iron Snail Wool Mammoth Jacket because it's time. And this video is a bit of a smorgasbord because I recorded all these little baby vlogs but I never did anything with them. There's some very exciting things happening. Namely, wait till you see this, you're just gonna freaking love it. I'm so excited. Look at this. This is a lot of money in wool that we're going to I'm going to have sewn together for samples of the mammoth jacket. Anyways though, what's up snailians? Today we're going over like six different things that have happened recently. Number one is a manufacturer that is in New York that I think will be making all of Iron Snail products besides denim, Naked and Famous will stick to them. Number two, this is actually some really old footage but I'm shipping a lot of pins, that's that's what number two is. Number three, there is, there is an incredibly famous wool mill in the United States. You probably know Pendleton, that's very, very famous. And then you might or you might not know American Woolen, who used to be the American branch of Laura Piana, which is the most famous, esteemed wool luxury textile company in the world. And I fought as hard as I could to get a phone call with them. That kind of works. And then, interestingly, obviously, there is American Woolen, and that is who I'm hoping will make the bulk of the jackets. But there is also one woman who lives in Scotland who hand makes wool in a shed. And it is some of the most amazing wool in the entire world. And I tried to convince her, semi-successfully, to let us do a special edition for the Iron Snail. And then finally, I go to a vintage market with my friend Marcus. Don't expect there to be a grand ending to this video. It, the video is going to end with me standing in a subway station saying, take it off. Also, I kind of accidentally accepted two sponsors for this video. Not really two sponsors. One just the Try Tasty. Actually, it's TryTreats.com. The link is in my bio, but snacks from around the world delivered to your door monthly. <laughs> They make a great gift. I'm probably gonna do it because it's like 25 bucks a month to get like the fancy version of it. And I spend more on snacks on that anyway, so I'd rather get them from around the world. And then the other sponsor is Surfshark, which we'll talk about later. Surfshark is a VPN. Just so you know, I'm reducing the YouTube ads on this video to try and even it out. Sorry about that. I'm not trying to slam you with sponsors. I kind of mentally was not firing on all cylinders for a while. So a lot of sponsors reached out to me recently and I was like, of course, and then I couldn't go the rest of the way. In the hopes of recovering my mental stability, I bought running shoes last night. Today's plan is to run until my kneecaps explode. All right, here we go, part one. This is, I had to find a manufacturer in New York City. I have to leave in like five minutes to a manufacturer meeting, but let me give you information on that before we do it, because it's very intense, and the place I'm going to specifically said they don't like cameras. In the world of fashion, I know nothing. I have zero connections. My budget isn't that big. There's no real draw to working with me. But anyways, one brand did give me a chance. I don't even want to say their name yet in case this meeting goes incredibly bad. Also, yes, I am trying to make this jacket in New York. Quentin Tarantino has this quote where he was talking about the first time he directed a film, how nervous he was because he didn't know all the correct terms when he was on set and he thought people would make fun of him. And then he realized, oh, I just need to say what I want and I know what I want, so I can do that. And he's Quentin Tarantino, so maybe I should call him for help with the jacket. <laughs> Two, three minutes away, we're on time, dressed like an amateur. The battery just fell out of my camera, so if you're just tuning in, you're already way too late. We're alone in the elevator, two floors away, here we go. 
Yeah. Yeah. JR? Yeah. How are you? Michael. JR. Nice to meet you, Mike. Great to meet you. Sit down. When I went to this meeting, I sat down with a man named JR. JR owns the entire operation. And when I sat down, JR pulled out a stack of blank white paper and a felt tip pen and said, What do you got for me, Michael? And my entire goal from that point on became trying to get JR to write something down on the paper that he grabbed because that's why he grabbed it and i failed miserably he didn't write a single thing we chatted for like a half hour or more and he was like okay 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 i actually don't really know what the crucial thing i missed was that went fantastic the only way that could have gone better is if when i got up there they said michael we took the liberty of already making the jacket for you and it sold out but that didn't happen so anyways very good stuff i'm uh Going to the subway now. I was looking for Penn Station because my bick is running low. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. They basically paid for that wool. So thanks Surfshark. Let me ask you something. Do you ever find yourself just Googling something in a coffee shop? Something crazy, something funky that you just don't want anybody else to see? If yes is the answer to that question, then you should get Surfshark VPN because right now you're basically walking around the internet with no pants on. If you're at a coffee shop or something like that, if you're going on banking websites or downloading huge files or anything like that, then you probably want to put your pants on and and be the big boy that you are. Essentially, all that information that you're creating on the internet, I search this, that information goes out, this information comes back, gets blurred by a VPN. But also, recently I flew to Denmark to see my yummy yummy munchkin, Taylor, and we were watching The Last of Us, and the only way we could watch it on HBO was through Surfshark VPN, because I couldn't access it in Denmark, so I pressed the button, boom, all of a sudden, Taylor was staring at Pedro Pascal like I've never seen her stare at any man before. If any of that interests you, you can go to surfshark.deals slash ironsnail and use my code Iron Snail to save 83% off your order and get your first three months free. Number two, part two, pins. A lot of you ordered pins and then I shipped them to you. I've just been packing some orders for a little, something I like to call the arts. The jackets are not here yet, but it's time for the pins to go. I have all the envelopes in this box. And then I have all the pins over here on the ground and I just read what people say they want and I put them in it envelope. The exciting part of this is going to be trying to summon this beast. It's very high quality. Can't believe they make things so nice these days. USPS for international shipping, please. Collate with shipping? How many things can you collate? Morgan. Ow, how, uh oh. Like a glove. Okay, part three is interesting because there is not a lot of windmills in the US. I made the YouTube channel, which was nothing, and then the YouTube channel introduced me to Naked and Famous. Naked and Famous made the jacket, the jacket made the website, the website, the YouTube channel, and the Naked and Famous introduced me to Weatherwool. Weatherwool introduced me to both the manufacturer in New York and American Woolen, but the manufacturer that Ralph introduced me to works very closely with American Woolen and basically emailed them and said, hey, this is Michael, he's actually a customer, and then immediately I get emails and responses and stuff like that the next day. And honestly, from all that I've talked to him so far, they have been and the most amazing people ever, but it's very cool to see how that chain works. Today we are talking to American Woolen. I have to call this woman named Tammy. She seems very nice. She sent me all of these wool samples. I have patterns that I like here, and there are some thicknesses here that I think are good. So I'm going to see if they can combine them and we have to get our own custom wool made. Okay, gotta do a quick waterproof test of this wool to see if it works. Oh, it was such a cool mug from the 80s, Star Wars. Look at that. At least I still have this mug from my grandmother that says, you got the right one, baby. This is Taylor's favorite mug. If that broke, I'd lose a girlfriend and a cup. What I need to do before the call is test these wools to make sure that they keep the water out. I go like this just for a very long time to see if my fingers get wet. This is why wool is so great. Look at that. My fingers are completely dry under. Okay, here we go. Let's give Tammy a call. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Did Tammy prank me? Good afternoon, American Woolen. 
Hi, is this Tammy? Whoops, okay, sadly I ran out of recording space while I was talking to Tammy. It was good, I was worried that she hated me. This wool is actually 27 to 28 ounces, so it's very beefy, it's very dense, but this wool has a very beautiful pattern on it, so I want to combine heavyweight wool with beautiful pattern wool. This is, as you can see, if I'm going like this, I guess that does nothing, I'm just wiggling. It looks like minnows. As I was saying, American Woolen is one of the best wool manufacturer in America. But then when we open the map up to the world and shrink down the production size and we go straight incredibly artisan wool from people that know everything but just do it in such a careful and beautiful way, there are probably a lot of players, but there is one unlike basically any of the others and her name is Sam and she owns a company called Woven in the Bone. So I was trying really hard to get Sam to work with the Iron Snail and we almost lost her. Whew. Okay, it's 10.32, Sam's still work. Oh, I can't breathe, here we go. It's always the first breath I have trouble taking and I'm very shaky, but we should be fine. Sam? Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you, how are you? Gosh, you've got, uh, you've got a plan, haven't you? I have some sort of plan. If you look at Google uh, Herdwick sheep, they start out, when they're young, they start out quite black. Then we talked about sheep for like an hour. Essentially, my initial thing I wanted to do with Woven in the Bone and Sam was make the entire run of snail jackets out of her cloth, which one, it's incredibly expensive because you have to ship from overseas, you have to import it into the US. It's a very, very artisan process in general. So we scaled everything back to around 15 meters. We don't have a actual number yet, but there will be an Iron Snail special edition mammoth jacket. Weather wool is going to come later, but there will be, it's like a 10, 15 piece run of an Iron Snail jacket using Sam's woven in the bones cloth. Very exciting. Also check her out on Instagram. She's got a fantastic feed and you can see her working. Just tell me, the phone is beeping away. Is that your WhatsApp going off? No, you know, I thought that was you. I think it is you actually. I, I haven't gotten anything. Or maybe, oh, I know what it is. It's the battery charger. Oh, well, see, and I just, I just thought you were incredibly popular. <laughs> oh, now I've ruined the image. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I have showered, I've changed my clothes, I've made some food and some hot tea, and I'm feeling pretty good. Tricked ya. Check, 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 check. Yo. Yo, yo. There you go. Yes, sir. You happen to remember when I was saying that I couldn't get JR to write something onto his paper? The reason he didn't do that is because usually when you're going and you're getting clothes made, like I said, you come with like, reference things, you're like, I like the way this fits, I like the shoulder on that, whatever. So I tried to get something that I really liked at Alfargo Market with my friend Marcus. I can't explain He's with your how big of a fan <laughs> I no am. Way. Okay, we just went into that store, Brooklyn Coachworks or Jane Motorcycles, do you know which one it's called? I found this Crescent Downworks jacket with a sashiko outside, but I figured even if I don't wear it that much, I'll keep it in my closet and then I'll just sell it to one of you and it's a win-win for me. We're wearing Gucci, full fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here. Uh, that's really the only update yet. <laughs> I need, um, Thomas was trying on my jacket, and the second he put it on, a guy walked by and went, no. <laughs> Yeah. I found nothing. I found absolutely nothing. So I think the consensus is that no one likes my jacket. At least it was expensive because otherwise I'd be in trouble. And at least it was on sale, so I can't return it. The guy that sold it to me was super cool. He had grills and everything. There's no way I'm going to admit that I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, 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 take it off. Take it off? Anyways, I shall see you next week. Thank you for watching the Smorgasbord. And now I'm gonna eat this ravioli that I made last night. Got zucchini in there, you know it's a winner.